cheap prices makes us lose our role model. This fact can be seen from our current leader. Corruption, selfishness, there's two problems possibly causes our nation's conditions getting worse and worse. So, I will mention you the first point. Corruption. Leaders are mandated to meet the public's interest. But now, as we see, people who are believed to be our leaders, to be our hope, they are snatching the public's rights. So that's why, until now, Indonesia is ranked on 107 according to Corruption Perception Index. So this case will bring us to the second point, selfishness. Today's youth personality towards the selfishness they are trying to make every opportunity to gain their wealth and profit for themselves, not for a better nation. Hey, who's there? Hello, future leaders. I am Gajah Mada. I declare Sumpah Palapa as to fulfill my commitment and ambition to conquer, conquer Nusantara. I demanded Sundanese King to consider Princess Dia Vitaloka as a token of submission. Then he's got angry to me and the battle between my kingdom and his kingdom began. I got an important note for you, future leaders, if you want to be great leaders like me. You have to be able to have two things, strong commitment and strong willpower. See you on top. This is an interesting point. The name of Gajah Mada used as a street names, brands, and university because of his commitment by declaring Sumpah Palapa. Sumpah Palapa makes people try to bring Gajah Mada down at the time. However, Gajah Mada still committed to what he said, and he did. That's one of the things that it takes to be a leader. Commitment. A commitment reflects your persistent actions and you have to sacrifice yourself for it. Nowadays, some people are not loyal to what they said, while a commitment is a pledge to go ahead, rise, and, hike, and catch the dream. Well, even us. We've not committed ourselves sometimes, such as late for coming workshop, coming late for lessons, and maybe breaking promise to your friends. Well, guys, a commitment is showing your loyal, your, your, your loyalty to what you said and what you're going to do. Gajah Mada also showed one value every leader will need a strong willpower. Psychologists identify that there's one group of people who seem to be natural willpower athletes, leaders. Every leaders, even potential leaders, are motivated by their own position to utilize all resources left to get things done. So the question might be why do leaders need to manage their willpower? Here are the power of a willpower. Willpower is a decisive step further than motivation, and it will enable leaders to utilize all the things, all the tasks, and uh, the leaders will get the things done even they are facing tempting opportunities 
challenges, or even the lack of inspiration. I've got something interesting regarding to this. <coughs> American stress survey reported that one out of four, or about 27% respondents, said that willpower, the lack of willpower, is the strongest barrier in achieving their goals and changing their lives. So, people, if you are dreaming to be a business consultant, to be a doctor, to be an engineer, or as simple as losing weight, but you don't manage a willpower, dream is only a dream. You won't be able to make them come true. However, excessive willpower is not a wise thing. Because over ambitious leaders will justify any means in order to achieve their personal goals. Just like Gajah Mada did. He provoked the war of Buba in terms of achieving his ambition. In current times, we often see <coughs> people do everything without any consideration without any consideration in the name of accomplishing purpose. Even though Gajah Mada has shown us what leaders mean. His commitment and willpower is just a little side of leadership that strongly stick on him. Yet those two things <coughs> have possibly could be the answer. Possibly could be the answer to anticipate corruption and selfishness. Eventually, committing to determination in achieving the goals through the right path is one most important thing to be the great leader. So we all here as future leaders have responsibility to make changes to the future of Indonesia. Thank you.